We are at the Jewish Museum in New York City today. It's a wet and rainy day here in New York City and we're visiting the Jewish Museum, which is an art museum and home to cultural artifacts. The museum is housed in the Warburg Mansion, located on Fifth Avenue. It is the first Jewish museum in the entire United States. The museum contains 30,000 objects, many historic and many surprising. And here are the top 15 paintings and sculpture. Big number one, this hilarious sculpture is from New Yorker Deborah Cass. And just to prove, Deborah Cass is not a one-trick pony. Here are a couple more from the museum, Six Blue Barbaras, and Subject Matters. And here is the multi-talented Barbara Cass. Number two, Sarah Bernhardt by Andy Warhol. This is from Warhol's suite, 10 Portraits of Jews of the 20th Century. Marc Chagall is widely considered the most famous Jewish artist of the 20th century. In 1901, Jewish painter Camille Pizarro visited this beautiful church in France with his family. Vera List was a champion of contemporary art and a lifelong trustee of the Jewish Museum. This is one of the challenging photographs from Cindy Sherman. Believe it or not, that's Cindy in costume as the ancestor. Number seven, Marilyn, is Marilyn Fishback, an art dealer. This is really interesting. It's oil on aluminum stuck on the wall. Number eight, Meyer Shapiro was a professor at Columbia University and a board member and trustee of the Jewish Museum. Number nine, these watercolors are done by Hannah Wilkie, an American artist. Number 10, this is a highly unusual self-portrait and it is a photograph and it's by Nan Golden. Adolf Gottlieb was a New York School abstract expressionist. Number 12 by Lee Krasner, this is one of 31 paintings that she did over a four year period in the same style. Hendy Wiley seems to be in every museum in America. Mr. Alios Idzak is an Ethiopian. Wiley is the guy that did the presidential portrait of Barack Obama. And uh, just to clarify, this painting is not at the Jewish Museum. This self-portrait of Louise Nevelson was done back in 1935. Last but not least, number 15, The Joys of Yiddish by Mel Bachner. Bachner worked in word-based art for his entire career. I sure hope you enjoyed my tour of the Jewish Museum today.